I do is to train kids uh, to understand the uh, for industrial revolution skills like Internet of Things, robotics, and coding particularly. When these kids come to you, what are they interested in learning? The kids learn, I have like uh, three sections, um, uh, basic fundamental of programming, computer programming, um, coding with uh, picture blocks and scratch. That is one, one, one component. And I have another component of uh, Internet of Things where kids uh, work with Arduino microcontrollers, sensors, jumbo wires, breadboards, and another component that is robotics. You know, where kids interface with the robotics, how, how to assemble robots, and also how to give instruction, how to pass instruction, program them to uh, accomplish a particular task. You talked about how you're trying to change the education curriculum in your country. Uh, how has that been like, and what does it take uh, really to change that? Uh, you have this mindset of people who are kind of like opposed to technology. If you, if you see the curriculum that the schools, most schools are using in the Gambia, you know, most of the contents are obsolete, <clears throat> you know. They are not fit for the today's, they are not applicable in modern offices, modern workplaces, modern industries, you know, you name them. So um, there is a, a, a necessity, there is a need for the education system to be revamped, or at least to remedy the education system. We tailor made it or we scale it at least you know, to match with the 21st century demand, the fourth industrial revolution demand, you know, because most of the things that our children are learning are root memorization, you know, and then uh, children are learning many things that, that they will not meet in their time of production. You know, it's all about memorization things, uh, cramming past papers, white past papers, and then all those things. So. We don't have that practical, we don't give them that practical sense and uh, the, the, the freedom for them to express themselves, to learn skills that are rewarding, that matches with the for industrial revolution skills. So I, I see to it that that part is lacking. Any school you go, you found kids learning the same thing, you know, the assembly line uh, production, the mass production model and, and all those things. So I see to it that um, but there is a need for us to do something for our kids in order for them to survive in the next war and, you know, to have a good well-being, you know, to, to, to be fit in the modern offices and all those things. So that's why I come up with a foundation called Kids in Technology and I improvise tools and a mentorship, both human and material resources for the government children to learn this rewarding skills at my foundation in the Gambia here. In terms of impact uh, or scale, uh, you've been at this for a while. You've done it for, uh, you've trained some young people who have gone on to things. Uh, when you look at it from the perspective of uh, impact, uh, how much impact do you think you've had on some of these uh, kids? So good. I, I've made a lot of remarkable impact, you know, in the life of the young ones in the Gambia here. Uh, because I am a renowned STEM coach. Uh, I, I did a lot of uh, projects, successful projects, IoT projects, Internet of Things, hackathons, um, school visits, uh, national and international competition, because recently uh, we are the champions in Africa when it comes to robotics, because you won a Pan-African Robotics Championship uh, this year. And also we won the... Um, um, uh, the uh, Global Innovation and Creativity Awards as well, and then uh, a lot of other small awards in the country here locally. And because right now, one of the most influential foundations when it comes to digital literacy is kids in technology. And then we conducted a lot of seminars, workshops, you know, and, and even played because for, for us to convey what the, because society don't actually know about technology. And so for us to make people understand technology, the importance